Yeah. Oh, they got more characters now on Twitter. That's good. You can only have so many characters on Twitter up to 140. They increased it to 240. Do 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 do. Tell me, I need to know. Oh, hi, how's it going? All right, episode four. <laughs> it's a day. It's a day. Oh, yeah, it's a day. Coming up, coming up, coming up, it's the do! <laughs> Never get over that. Episode 4, Minecraft Story Mode, Season 2, let's go. I do. It's coming up, it. <laughs> Someone donates, it's the do! Minecraft Story Mode. The Admin, a villain who can become anyone with a wave of his hand. How do you face a foe who's never exactly as he seems? Do you refuse to hide who you really are? Even when it might be a better idea to stay <laughs> under the radar? Not everyone can face a trickster head on. Some. Join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into... a hero? Or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. Is that where? where? What are you going about? Ugh. <laughs> 
Don't worry, everyone. This is just like the time I jumped from the cliffs of the Pow. Only, uh, uh, who am I kidding? This is nothing like that. Thanks again for not leaving him behind. Though, let's be honest, no way you'd pick some llama over Nermi here. She's not just some llama. Luna's back there all alone. Probably scared. I just hope Luna is okay. Yeah, me too. She'll be fine. Look, she's an animal. She's got survival instincts. Wow. You were right. There's a whole world down here. The first world. Created by us. Romeo, Fred, and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned. Before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. This shadow. This place doesn't look very friendly. Or welcoming. Used to be. But now? Guess we're gonna find out together. I knew yes, what Romeo but... planned to do. But still, seeing it like this... Romeo? The admin. Oh! It's worse than I imagined. <laughs> I'll still be a nobody. This is the room where he killed Fred. I watched it happen. <laughs> we refused to join him and... It was... Slow. It takes a strong person to survive yeah, all They're my idiots. <laughs> Seeing that happen to your friend. And what Romeo did to you. That was a you. good episode, I like that. Surviving doesn't feel like enough now. If I had to choose between Guardians Fred's keep and is that Minecraft, way. Want I'd to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that...? It's an Enderman. That is the biggest Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could leave well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. if I could go one day, just one day, without seeing something new and completely terrifying! So that thing is another admin created monstrosity. Time to move, guys. <gasps> so mesmerizing. Not in the eyes, Radar! Don't look at its eyes! Sorry, Jesse. I don't know what happened. It was just hypnotic. So big and glowy. Go, go! Going! Ah! Ah! Oh. Thanks. Dismantling the tower. Isn't far from here. I'll lead Enderman. the way. Fred's keep lies just on the other side, and we'll have some cover from that thing. From what? Wait. Did you guys see? Jesse, we gotta go. Yeah. Yeah, except a couple of people aren't there. I was thinking they're not there. You are play season two, man. It's pretty good. I haven't got to finish season one.
is this place safe? I mean, you know, not asking for me, cause, cause I'm tough. Whatever. Our defenses are impressive. State-of-the-art machinery, automated farming. The Oasis is a completely self-sustaining city. Mm -hmm. It's... home? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is episode four. What? What happened to it? Are you okay? Wow, you kind of oversold this one. Wait, what? This place looks terrible. I... I didn't know. But the first one hasn't it been released yet. Beautiful. And the fourth, and the third one hasn't been released. It was... Fourth hasn't been released on 360 yet. Wait, this is your town? What has he done to it? What happened to her? Hang on, I just need to see if it's still here. Yeah, people. We have uh, to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town, and Love. they'll all think it's me. Oh, Nermi, Nermi, it's okay. Left behind. Come here, die. It's okay. Are you guys okay? Nerm here was poking around and found a llama blanket, and um, it made him think of Luna. <laughs> Nermi, no. Come on, pal. No. Oh, jeez. I know it's kind of hard to think about. But Luna really is safer in the Sunshine Institute. Fighting the admin could be really dangerous. Yeah, thanks, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said! Zara? Look! At this my bed come on she's freaking out about a bed really could she be any more melodramatic <sighs> wow maybe we should help her be my guest i'm staying as far away from her throwing arm as possible ditto i just wanted to sleep i thought if i could find this one thing one last thing still whole. There's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. He made sure. It's just a bed, Zara. You can get another one. No sheep anymore, Jesse. No wool, no wood. Zara, what are you doing over here by this, uh... It's a portal. What? A portal. Broken now, like everything else. Just leave me here. Go. You want to destroy Romeo, don't you? Make him pay for what he did to you? Your town? Then you have to get up. Not much use stuck down here. What about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. We built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. Though Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it. And get us up to the admin. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can. Well, if you don't fix it, then we're stuck mm -hmm. down here. Can't get up through the prison. You really want to live here? In the dark? Forever? You make it sound so appealing. Yeah. We don't have any other options here. I don't get it. That's why I said You're Guardians of the Because it's a better story alive. overall. But you're still fighting. Why? Because the admin can't win, Zara. I won't let him. Not after everything he's done. If Fred's weapon can take him down, I'm gonna find it. Fine. 
It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's key. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll see what I can do. Okay. But you're doing something now. Good. But you're fighting. Oh, good. It tells me how to, to play the game. Cool. Oh, I got hit. Oh, no. Oh, I got hit again. Oh. Zara said to follow the tracks to Fred's keep. That's where we'll find the weapon. Kind of useless unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Great. So I'll tell you, Marcus, why you want to see me in town tomorrow. Yeah, in town tomorrow, yeah. Not even. I never say no to a little gunpowder. Close no. one. We haven't done it. We haven't spoken Fred's a lot of that. Here we come. Uh, Jesse? <laughs> Who made eye contact with the Enderman? I'm sorry. Go! It's okay, we're still okay, so long as it doesn't do that. Everybody jump! Maybe. Jack! I'm okay! No! Need to stop saying that! You two are in a bit of a pinch, ain't ya? Smell like a couple of admin lackeys to me. AKA trouble. Definitely smells like admin. <sighs> yeah. We're kind of stuck here. Can you help us out? <sighs> Maybe. Depends, really. Yeah, depends. <sighs> We've been scavenging these lands since the darkness fell. You know what? We can sniff out an outsider when we sniff one. So what are you doing all the way down here, small fry? You lost? We're here to take down the admin. <laughs> You're kidding. You can't even make it off this gravel cliff by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we help you, maybe we just walk away. Leave you here to die! <laughs> the first one! Pick the first one! I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. Getting down there. Pulling you up. Ugh, my arms are tired. You should help us because it's the right thing to do. If you see someone in trouble, you have to do something. You think any of this down here is right? <laughs> right went out the window with the rest of the sky. What? Uh, maybe I do feel a little sorry for you, though. Here's the deal, folks. Down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us, what with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. <sighs> A warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat! Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your swords? Or splat! Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. <laughs> splat. Ooh. Come on, come on. Just uh, gotta get some leverage. <laughs> no deal. Yeah, well that's... Disappointing. Yeah, we'll go our own way. Don't go playing heroes, squishies. 
Well, this dark will snap out a light like you real fast! <coughs> Jesse! Jack! Eh, tried to tell ya. <laughs> Move out, ya stink bags! Jack! And then, he was gone. Did you see him land? Oh no, Jack, he, he can't be. Jesse, he, he'll be fine, right? Jack will be okay, buddy. He's got perfect muscle memory, remember? Bet he's had to dive off a cliff or two in his day. You heard Jesse. He's gonna be okay. Come on. Guess this is how they keep the mobs out. We're not going to hurt you, I promise. We've been told that before. Fred, Fred, Fred believed it. Then he was stabbed in the back. Now what? I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone, everyone in the underneath. Binta! She's not coming back, is she? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. Careful, they might be well armed, and now they know we're coming been returned. Festivities will close with a fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Why did I say that? They're Just having a great. trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Silly, you're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters, including a giant freaking Enderman. Hey, we just got here. We have no right to judge them. Okay, sorry. I think it's kind of nice. Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Binta. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred. And locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No uh, one. There's an update for it's Cod how too. we no honor one. Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. Most of my townspeople have never even been inside. This is some kind of trick, right? No. It's a trivia contest. The door is locked until the contest is won. No amount of arguing will change that. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. I'm not is it, breaking is my Fred promise to him. Fred's legacy You're like Tim's legacy? You're welcome to try your luck. Not real. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. 
Good luck. This place is weird. A good dog. You're a good dog. <laughs> ah, there you are. Are you ready to begin? Not quite yet. Well, we're beginning. I'm, I'm half paying attention to this story. Let me guess. Fred liked to paint with his feet? Nope. Hurt my painting hands going out into the wilds beyond the keep. Nasty stuff out there. Should have listened. Not safe to wander. That's why no one ever leaves. Taught myself to paint like this. But these old dogs aren't up to crafting. How about we make a trade? You craft me a canvas, and I'll tell you Fred's favorite color. You know, I got some wool, but not enough sticks. You'll have to find some more to get it done. Get that done, prompt-like. <laughs> I'm on a roll, and this one's almost finished. You got it. the one. The one who thinks they can beat me as a faithful friend of Fred. Hey, dude. And I'll tell you something, stranger. I am the most faithful friend of Fred, which means I always win. And that means you will lose. So good luck. I don't even know what to do with that one. To. Uh, uh huh. Uh, uh oh. Just trying to figure out if, if there's a better way into Fred's house than, well, studying. Just in case. something about Fred? Uh, yeah, actually. How did you... His favorite tool? A diamond hoe. That's why I use two. You and learned a Fred I fact. And my mushrooms super, super seriously. For serious. A Fred fact. Cool, yeah, sure. Makes sense. Uh, bye. Yes. A fact about a guy called Fred. Fred. 
Who's Fred, you ask? I don't know. Maybe he's like Frank. Please, please, don't hurt me, stranger. I did what you asked. Yeah, okay. Don't freak out. I'm backing away. Nice and non-threatening. Huh? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you on the bow? <laughs> I'm not a dog. What? I don't have enough materials to make anything. What are you on the bow? Oh my god. Hey there, I'm looking for information about Fred. Well, this here was Fred's cherished pet, but you'll never guess his name. Never. You stay in there now. Don't want that dog getting you now, do we? How can I get him to call out that chicken's name? Who you say? <laughs> it's like that fucking me minutes. <laughs> Good boy, sit, speak, fuck. <laughs> With the little dog, it's like, speak. It's not that old. It's only 2000 and something. you waste those resources I gave you. Sacrificed my hands to get them. Some help? Oh, uh, uh, that's okay. I I, I got it. <laughs> Didn't know you were uh, right there watching me do that. Anyway, the Oasis and Fred's Keep are all, you know, kind of broken. But I wonder what this place looked like before. Bet it was amazing. The admin's not going to do this to Beacon Town, is he? We have no idea what he's doing up there. It could be all gone, and we'd have no idea. Our town is strong enough to hold him off. For a while. I hope so. No, you're right. We gotta believe in them. Look, if there's one thing I learned in the slammer, it's that I have to keep my body ready for anything. Uh, one, uh, two, uh, and a half. can definitely use these. All right, time to make a painting. Here you go. All done. 
It's just lovely. I am going to paint this Fred's favorite color. Not just any blue. Lapis blue. Lapis blue? Same color as my underwear. Mine too. <laughs> Are. are you ready to begin? I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. Attention, everyone! Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now! Gather round, everyone! Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion, Kent! And we have a challenger! Uh... Jesse. It's Jesse. Jesse! That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people. Comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude! Kent! Be my best friend! You got this, Jesse! Don't let him intimidate you! I wouldn't be so sure of that, Kent. Fred is my middle name. Ah, a likely story. For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar. Begin! Hmm. Gotta build a representation of Fred. Okay, so he's got three. So one, two. One, two. Nice. Yes, yes, yes! Jesse, it's as if you've known Fred his whole life. <laughs> what? How can you say that? That, that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though... I must give you points for accuracy. Such painstaking detail. I declare this round a draw! What? This was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. 
Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the most? Your time begins now. Come on, Jesse, you can do this. Silence from the audience, please. Sorry. Cyan blue? Oh, I'm truly sorry, Jesse. Oh, shit. That is not correct. This round goes to Kent. <laughs> Let's see if Jesse can catch up. Unlikely. Next question. Kent. Fred was a man of simple means, yeah, I know. but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool. What was it? A diamond hoe. Obviously. Very good. Jesse, Fred had a constant companion, a fine feathery friend. What was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. <laughs> really? Silence, please. Fred's pet was a very distinguished individual named Sir Cluxalot. <clears throat> Sadly, no, that is not correct. Good name, though. Sadly, our new competitor has not managed to answer enough questions correctly to beat our reigning champion. For the 15th competition in a row, Kent has won. As is proper. Kent wins again. What do we do now? I have an idea. Oh, Fred, let's go. <laughs> Ugh, even his snore makes me sound know like a man at all. You go ahead. I just went I'll with keep it. Watch. Like Not where you can get him right, you can get him wrong. It depends. The story will change either way, but. Depends on each each story. I'm Fred's real number one fan. Yeah, he's out. Hey cat, why did the mushroom make such a good roommate? Because it's a real fun guy. It's a... Uh... Whoa. Secret room. There's gotta be something down here. Three towns. There's the oasis there, and the keep. Third is... Romeoburg. <laughs> Seriously? What kind of name is a Romeoburg? This book contains the collective knowledge of the survivors. We're an underground group of survival experts who have been around since the early days. It goes on, signed by the chief. Interesting, but not really what I need. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. This... this is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. 
It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us, together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait, home? Then he wasn't talking about here. There wasn't a cabin on the map, though. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. You... you're not Kent! We think we know a way to defeat the admin. Romeo. I haven't heard that name in... You can't stop him. Although you clearly believe you can. <sighs> Maybe my people were right about you. They say you're dangerous. There are rumors that you're from above the bedrock. I'm beginning to think they're true. And if they are, that can only mean trouble. You've already caused quite a bit of it. And you just arrived. I'm sorry, Binta. I really am. I didn't want to cause you any trouble. <sighs> Thank you. Did you at least find what you were looking for? This... weapon? Go on. Tell me. I'm afraid we need to ask you for more help. You must be joking. To ask something of me now? You've completely destroyed the sanctity of Fred's home. Yeah, um... We need to find a cabin. The one where Romeo, Zara, and Fred used to hang out. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now he's in our town pretending to be me. We need to stop him. Problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. Just stop talking. You understand I have no reason to help you after what you've done. But if you really are from up there, there's something I would take in exchange. Get me and my people above the bedrock. You must know a way. Above? Binta, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. You and your people are welcome to join us. Good. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. Let me worry about that. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future <sighs> is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the Oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They have a massive army, but I'm sure with your... techniques, you'll be just fine. Keep it safe. Treat it with more care than you did Fred's house. You really didn't have to do this. So thank you. I'm not doing it for you. You're our best chance of getting out of this place. I expect you to hold up your end. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Great, you're here. We've got a new destination, so... Please. Uh, wait, what? I, I don't think I heard that right. What did he say? He says he's not coming with us. He's gonna stay here and wait for Jack. Hey. Nurm, we can't just leave you here by yourself. We don't know where Jack is, Nurm. Or when he'll be back. <laughs> I think he said... He's coming here because this was where we were headed. <laughs> we understand, Nurm. <laughs> he says he'll look for the fireworks. Once he finds Jack, they'll meet us at the Oasis. Hey, stay safe.
can't believe how obsessed those people were with that Fred guy. So weird, right? I mean, were they really that different from you with Jesse? I, what? No, you, I, I am a stone cold professional. My interest in Jesse was completely professional. Petra's kinda got a point, Radar. Ha, told ya. Oh, well, you were the one who was totally obsessed with Jack. Petra, I am so sorry. So, uh, what's the compass saying? We still heading the right way? Hang on. Let me check. Seems like we're still on. Truck's out! Everybody brace yourself! is a complete wreck. Yeah, what's up with you? Only one person I know fights like that. You are the real Jesse! Ivor! <clears throat> yes! It is I, your friend Ivor. I'm a ninja now, Jesse! What? Yeah, what? It all started when I fell through a portal into some sort of strange world. Everything was all white. Master Shadow's domain. He claimed he was a ninja master. A practice. Nice. Huh, you see? Ninja reflexes. Wait, you tried to hit me. Why'd you try to hit me? That would have been quite painful. Wow. Master Shadow teach you how to whine too? Why do you think? You tried to kill me. Ah, uh, yes. That was an unfortunate way to reunite. Let me explain. You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished after fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Right. Only to return, having defeated this Admin and taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. I mean, you didn't believe it, right? I did it first. How could I not? Looked like you, sounded like you, except now you could fly around and had all sorts of cool superpowers. Jesse, AKA the admin, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, AKA you. But with my new ninja senses, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right. Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. They must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No, but I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic thing to say to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic, but you'd be surprised. Wait, wait, wait. If you weren't convinced, you would have killed me? The admins turned everything upside down, Jesse. It's very confusing up there. Speaking of whom, I can't spend much more time down here. If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. 
You can make up a lie, and he'll never suspect that I'm actually down here. Which will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon! Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja! Anyway, <laughs> that I'm plan is all well and good. But what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible, but dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. Realistic, but shocking. Within the realm of possibility, but against all odds. Tell him I died trying to flee the Sunshine Institute. Fluff up his ego. Let him think he built an inescapable prison. Ah, oh, yes. A fed ego is a happy ego after all. I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. Oh, wait. Can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <laughs> ah! You saw nothing. <laughs> Smoke bomb! We all just apparently. saw that, oh. right? I, I didn't like Sorry. hallucinate Ninja Ivor. Nah. -uh. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get any weirder. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. Looks like the Mordor. But in like Lego form. <laughs> Mug bomb. Ah, uh, uh, you saw nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Looks like the compass is pointing right to that building. Oh, good. It only sounds like there are a few thousand big scary people between us and there. Halt! You there! What business have you? I, um, think we need to go into that building behind you. If that's okay! Uh, you know, it is in fact not okay, okay? Now just move along. Don't go anywhere near the building or we will... Sick our army on you. Or we'll sick our army on you. Wouldn't want to unleash the force of our army. And it's a mighty army. Yes, we've heard amazing things about your army. Because we're the new recruits. But Jesse, we're not the... <coughs> well, that's great. We should let him in. Because we really don't have Shut a... Shut it. <clears throat> we doubt your claims. <laughs> See this? This is my dowdy face. Hey, army! You too, Jeff! Let's take these invaders out! Uh, that's weird! It's not weird! The army just, just, uh, took a power nap! Now they're stronger than ever, yeah! <laughs> Thanks to their nap, yeah! We're not gonna ask you again, alright? You just skedaddle before our well-rested army makes you regret it. We're gearing up. Yeah, it's the biggest army you've ever heard right here. Was that an audio disc? You're an audio disc. Yeah, what kind of morons would have a jukebox sitting just out of you behind the city's parapet? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> you have outfoiled us. We don't have an army. Mm, yeah, I know, but, uh, still can't let you in. Sorry. Really, it's for your own good. That building you're pointing at? That's Romeo's challenge. Yeah, it's nothing more than a death trap. The worst kind of trap. Which is why we vowed to keep everyone out. Even relentless travelers like you. I mean, you should thank us for keeping you away from it, okay? We're doing you a solid. Yeah! Duh. I escaped Romeo's highest security prison. The Sunshine Institute? I think I can handle some little challenge. Whoa! That's hardcore! Whoa, yeah. Anyone who escaped that place? Mad props. Open the gate! On it! No, Soup. The, the gate. Yeah, the, the real gate. Right! On it! Oh, weird llama. 
She must smell Luna on you. This place is a wasteland. Yeah, uh, having a town where everyone enters a mysterious challenge room then never comes out will do that. I, uh, <coughs> suppose that, uh, might affect population levels a little. Uh, we still don't feel good about permitting you in the challenge room, especially unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if you can build something to scare off future unwanted visitors. You know, like a snowman. Or a huge flower. Just... Make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it. Keep people off our backs. Something to give us a little me time. Oh, wow. That will give me nightmares. <laughs> well done. Yes. Wonderfully horrifying. Nothing organized, not alphabetized, not even sorted by material? This is barbaric! This is what we managed to salvage from the goofballs. Uh, I mean, residents? Who tried entering? <laughs> Do I go with the tooth chipper, the goofball glory, the lava brownish, the please don't hurt me, the da dented danger, the feeding cute, the armor number, or the straps and straps? souls 
The cabin must be through that door. Those pressure plates release waterfalls upstairs. It's so calculated, so precise. Judging by the multiple pressure plates, there's some complex engineering behind these walls. Wouldn't expect anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair. I think this was meant for the three friends. Romeo, Zara, and Fred. How do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers and seeing what happens? Here we go. The admin designed all this just for his friends? Are you ready for the most thrilling, death-defying, heart-pounding challenge you've ever experienced? Them. This time made of magma. Ooh! Wow! What a showdown, folks! We're having the time of our lives, aren't we? Yeah! Okay! So poking fire might not be the best idea. We gotta try yeah. something else. Yeah! Take that, overgrown barbecue! Waterfalls! Jesse, water turns lava into cobblestone. Yes! We gotta get them under it! All right, golems. Time to get soaked. It's mining time. Making it to stage 600. <sighs> three levers got us into this, so. So maybe those three levers will stop it. Come on, radar. Let's bust that machine. Break the machine. I'll cover you. On it!
fuck it, I do. <laughs> Shit. Oh, damn it. That was too close. Now, what do we handle, Anyway, so I guess it's time for another idea. We have gunpowder! TNT! Just gotta get some sand and we're set. Right. Good thinking, Radar. Radar, get ready. Fire incoming! Just need four sand blocks. Quickly. place down here that looks alive. Oh, oh, perfect. Huh. Oh. I'll meet you over there. I'm going to go take a look around. Strange to see flowers growing down here. Someone set up these lamps after the bedrocking. Huh. 
How's it looking? Doesn't seem to be anybody around. Nobody inside. Should be safe. Safe-ish. Let's just get that weapon and get out of here. Remember I used to read all the time? Now I barely do. Things change. Yeah. It's like the one we used to have back at the treehouse. Until someone, you, broke it. Uh-huh. <sighs> Petra, what's wrong? Uh, n nothing. It just reminds me of... Uh, this, this story about puppies. Really sad story. You know me, I can't help crying about dumb stuff like that. Puppies, little chickens. Let's hear it then. I want to hear the story. Um, so, yeah, there, there was this puppy named, uh, Pendergast, and she, uh, fell into a... Ah, uh, th there is no puppy! Doesn't this remind you of anything? Our friends? We used to hang out in that treehouse all the time. Now, we barely talk. Why does this keep happening? Everyone leaves and I'm, I'm just by myself again. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I see them one by one, just... Not everyone leaves, Petra. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, but maybe that's the problem. What if I want to go somewhere that isn't Beacon Town? I'll just be alone again. Axel and Olivia are barely around. We already lost Jack. Didn't take long for the new Order of the Stone to fall apart, did it? My fault for thinking it would be different. Held together longer than most. That doesn't make it hurt any less, though. I know we've drifted apart. But there's still time to fix it. I know I can do more to keep everyone together. I want to believe you, but... You can't just fix everything. I, I know this isn't important right now. Let's just find the weapon and get out of here. Something's not right here. Beds don't go with the banners. Whoa, it's an observer block. What's it looking at? The beds? Red for Romeo. That did something. One down. Now the rest of these need to go in the right order. Blue for Fred. Purple for Zara. Hmm. Another one of Fred's journals. Dear Zara. If you're reading this, I'm already gone. I hid this in the one place I knew you would look for it. Fitting, the key to ending all this would be here, where it all started. 
This is the key to defeating Romeo. It says... Hashtag potato 451. Potato? That's the weapon? What are... What, what are we supposed to do with potato? That's not a weapon. It's a root vegetable. And not a very good one. I... Ugh, I hate potatoes. That's what it is? That's so... Dumb. Right? <sighs> Hashtag potato 451. Take this word of passage and use it at the primary terminal. You can take away his power and end this. Word of passage? Hmm. I guess that's the potato. I still have hope for Romeo. He just wanted us to stay together more than anything. I know that's why he's doing this. Maybe I'm being foolish, but I need to know for sure before taking this step. Though I guess if you're here, I got my answer. Maybe someday we'll be together again. Your friend always, Fred. I kind of feel bad for them. Don't you? Yeah, I kind of feel bad for them too. This wasn't easy. For any of the admins. They really cared about each other. Everyone talks about Romeo like he was this controlling monster, but... Fred wrote that Romeo just wanted to keep them together. More than anything. Isn't that what I've been doing? Especially to you? I don't want you to feel forced to keep doing something you don't want to. I don't want to be that person. Or... Or make you feel scared to tell me the truth. You are nothing like the admin. Don't compare yourself to him. Even he didn't start out that way. It just got bad. I don't want to cross that line too. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. About how friendship is my thing. But I don't think I can just stay put, you know? In Beacon Town. But I don't want to lose you. You mean a lot to me, Jesse. I... More than anyone else, you've been there. And I... I don't want to leave if it means... I'll be right there with you, Petra. If you think your place is out there, then so is mine. <laughs> Thank you. I always knew you were a big old softie. <laughs> You'll never be able to prove it. <laughs> we'll see. We'd better get that book back to the portal. Right. Let's go stop the admin. His days of being Jesse are over. Did it? This is it then! Time to call the others. We're getting out of here. What do you think you're doing? The portal is hidden for a reason. To keep things away! We're still missing Nurm. Right. That won't be a burden. Sounding pretty adminish there, Zara. The weapon is what we need, not bodies to throw at the problem. People just complicate things. Make everything messy. Inefficient. You've done nothing but lead us astray since we've been down here. Could be that you're the burden. Funny. I don't remember you getting a portal working again. As you can see, the portal's fully functional. You complete your end, 
Yep, I think this should send us home. And there's Spread's weapon. Potato. Hmm. Potato. Weird, right? I, I thought it was weird. Fred trusted him. He went to Romeo with the best of intentions and was... was... Ugh. There is no redemption in Romeo. None. He needs to be stopped once and for all. He deserves it. Worse. For this and everything else. It's the only way. If it comes to that, maybe. Jesse, we can't just take him out. There is no maybe. But heroes are supposed to help people, not hurt them. Romeo deserves what's coming to him. Fred should be avenged. Fred was the best of us, cut down. I can't let it stand. Romeo regretted what he did. He planted a tree for Fred. We saw it. <laughs> A tree. A memorial is too little. Well, what about that whole game he built? He clearly cared about you. Once. Romeo destroyed my world, and I wasn't there to help it. He's stolen it from me. There is no rebuilding. I have nothing now. It's really over. All the things we made. Here, I found this, and there are good things left, if you look for them. That you would... I... I'm not used to being wrong. Thank you. But we still need to move forward. <sighs> All right, let's get this over with. Hand over that trinket of yours. Uh, Jesse? Oh, great. The Enderman's back. That's our way home! Oh, man. Everyone, get out of its way! when I had been so unhelpful. Go! Mobs don't stand a chance. Oh, hi, hi.
Looks like all my training from the marsh hoppers of the Harline swamps totally paid off. Strike! <laughs> you thought a little fall will get the better of the velvet tornado? Please. For Fred's keep! For the future! Fight! Someone's gotta catch me up here. They're on our side. They helped us back in Fred's keep. Up, oh, the more the merrier. <laughs> Time to let my sword get a taste of monster hide. It's hungry. Yeah! We have to repair the building. Otherwise, that Enderman is never going to leave us alone. So my laptop died, which is great. Nothing like a little pressure to make building fun. I'm not exactly sure where this will bring us. Hopefully, we close to home. Everyone! We are leaving! Oh boy. Radar. We're winning, for now. But they're not going to be able to hold that line for much longer. Especially not if that Enderman takes the portal apart. It's bad news. right. No way everyone's getting through the portal with that huge creep hanging around. They get left behind. Oh, no. Well, we'll find out in a minute. I'll be back in a second. I'm just going to take a quick bathroom break and my laptop. Please stop dying, you piece of poop. Back in a sec.
Right. Okay. Right, let's continue it. The Enderman is after me! I can buy you time! You're our friend, Radar. We're not leaving you down here. We have to stick together. This is my time, Jesse. I know it! I have to do this! better than here. And just like that, jump through the portal. Boop! Pain everywhere. That's it. No more mystery portals. Ever. What Nerm said. That was not a quality three point landing. Sorry, Nermy. Is everyone all right? It's the Order's Temple. We did it. We're back. <laughs> Radar would be flipping out if he were here right now. Standing where the great hero stood, this is amazing! Spot on impression. I mean, come on. You know he'd be all over historical Order of the Stone sites. Radar deserves to stand here too. He's just as much a hero as the rest of us. That's true. He gave Bintus people the chance to escape and help us stop the admin. Mm hmm Jesse. We are endlessly grateful to your friend for what he did for us. Well, we'd thank him if we could. We didn't know if we'd ever see the sky again. Did you see that? Okay, somebody tell me I'm losing it. Tougher than diamonds. Be chapter six, and that is episode four done of Minecraft Story Mode. People won the trivia contest. Oh. <laughs> were over I was content to let life pass me by that is until a young hero came along with a glint in their eye mm. see what's like episode 5 oh look this is pretty cool Jesse man is it good to see you where are the others Okay, didn't show much. Interesting. Twitch is better than Mixer. Uh, 
All right. Okay, that was very short. Uh, that's episode four. Thank you ever so much for watching. Uh, this will be up on YouTube within the next few days. Uh, along with the, you know, the latest Guardians of the Galaxy episode. And um, I'll be back on... Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. With something different. I don't know what yet. I'll uh, figure it out as I go. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, I know it was a bit of a later stream than usual. Uh, apologize for that. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow uh, with something new. Be sure to follow me here on Twitch if you haven't done this already. Uh, it would be awesome. It would be super awesome if you did that. Uh, I really would really appreciate it. You don't have to, it's just it's up to you. Uh, be sure to check me out on Twitter. I'm on, on Twitter at HippieShade. Uh, Twitch, uh, uh, Twitter.com slash HippieShade. Um, also on YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash hippieshade45 is on there as well and uh, also on Facebook, I've got a Facebook group so facebook.com slash hippieshade is there as well for your viewing pleasure but uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, really do appreciate it I'll be back tomorrow, uh, have a good one, bye for now later guys